So this is a pretty common issue that uh, people with the ASR seem to have. Uh, for some reason, Cisco decided to weld the battery tabs onto the original coin cell. It's really obnoxious. So basically, if you just rip off the battery, battery tabs a bit with one of these, or you cut them with a pair of these, yeah. You can just uh, take off the battery tabs and then solder some uh, 23 gauge Cat6 over to where they used to be and then go over to the battery holder. Now you're able to replace this tiny little thing that only lasts a few years with a coin cell that will last you for pretty much as long as you need it to. I'd recommend anyone with these ASRs, uh, they do that when they're not in production. It's a very handy thing to do. Probably won't regret that. It'll stop forgetting its time. I think these ones uh, store the config on the actual flash, so you don't lose the config, but it's very annoying when uh, NTP resets the time, and then all your customers' POE sessions go to 10 years of uptime. Provide some really uh, inaccurate uh, statistics in the radius database. Now uh, the real-time clock will actually work properly and uh, there shouldn't be any further issues with uh, abnormally long and fake basically PPOE session length. Thank you. Here's the ASR that that came out of. It's an ASR 1004. This one has the 20 gig ESP line card, so it can do 20 gigabits of capacity. We're only using a single 10 gig port at this time. Plenty for what we're up to. And then it's getting added to this mess of equipment. There's a server at the bottom too. 